Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Insworth for Longmont Public Media. Kind of out of time right now, so I don't ha didn't have time to put up the lights and the camera and all, so we're just going to do that without visuals. With this big storm moving in, I've been tracking models, sending out texts, updating uh, Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader, so been just all over the place. Wednesday, February 23rd is our, oh, that should be last quarter moon. The moon is illuminated on the wrong side. Sorry about that. Another casualty of being busy. Uh, for our drought, we are seeing more relief as more precipitation has come into the state, especially out here on the Northeast Plains. A whole bunch of the extreme drought drops down to severe drought. Nationally, things on the plains are not too far from Colorado have also gotten better. Uh, this last week did not have an update. This week it was a broken link. So I can just show the snowpack up to a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago actually. So hopefully they fix that and get that up and running again. Over the last seven days, a little bit of precipitation came in with our storm uh, earlier in the week and most of it hit Boulder down to Denver where you had a foot of snow yeah, around Boulder and Golden up here in Fort Collins, Greeley, they just got a, a slight trace of, of precipitation. It was a pretty small but potent storm for just a few counties. Nationally, Wednesday, here's the big storm putting itself together right now as I record at uh, early afternoon on Wednesday. And you can see uh, snow hitting most of the uh, um, state. We have mixed precipitation in this purple rain and thunderstorms with a uh, severe thunderstorm risk in North Texas, Oklahoma. Today we'll cover that again in a moment. We have a winter storm warning to up and down I-25 to uh, Castle Rock. Not to the springs though. This is going to be a, a more potent up here. We have winter weather advisories in the mountains. Again, a lot of these storms have not hit the mountains recently. They've been low altitude uh, foothills uh, focused systems. So for Wednesday what we have is sort of a complex uh, double low here in the upper level flow and some pretty good amount of cold air, not super cold. It's not a gigantic storm but it's definitely getting most of Colorado some precipitation. The forecasters at Weather 5280 and I really recommend going to their site. They have a, a great service, great forecasting, and great models. A lot of the stuff we have here comes from there. Uh, take a look along I-25, they have two to four inches. Um, I'm going a little higher in the um, three to six uh, area, especially with the temperature staying below freezing on Wednesday. We, the first snow is starting to snick, stick right away, um, but five to ten may be a few spots of a foot up here in the mountains as well. It's not you know, Rocky Mountain National Park uh, and down. So we do have the severe weather in North Texas, Oklahoma today. There's a chance of tornadoes, uh, high wind and damaging hail. We even have some thunderstorms for the first time in a long time in the southwest corner of the state with this potent system. And it becomes a pretty big tornado risk uh, tomorrow. Uh, down here in the southern states so hopefully people are not tuned out thinking winter thoughts and they are um, alert uh, we don't want any deaths uh, to occur the next day friday it's off the coast our next storm is a preview is a slower um, kind of much colder one coming in Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday next week. Pretty deep trough here with, again, snow uh, falling over the state. Not a big, heavy snow rate storm, but continuous, very fluffy, longer period storm. So our normals are 44 and 18 dropping to 17. Really not much change here in February. We definitely have a good period of precipitation. All the models agree on that. Different runs disagree on what's going to happen next week on Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday, but there is a tremendous drop in temperature. Look how far below normal we get. We could see things down in the negatives. So next Wednesday p.m., um, big, big trough and snow. 
I think I got my maps mixed up. And there's the extreme cold uh, coming down the plains next Wednesday. Yeah, the earlier maps with the trough looked just like this, but that was this Wednesday's system. Sorry. So let's put it in motion, see it all happen through. There's our double lobe for this storm. Here is the trough pulling out. There is a ridge, a giant ridge off the west coast, but it doesn't really come in before the next trough starts to dig on Monday. And look how deep this gets into Tuesday. And it's a lot slower. See, a wider uh, trough will move slower. Than, once it gets narrow, it starts to speed up. And then on Thursday into Friday, there's even a hint of another one rolling down our way. We are back into an active winter pattern. So let's take a look at these cold fronts. This is the temperature departure from normal. Purples are below normal, so, and reds and pinks are above normal. There goes that blob of cold with today, Wednesday, and Thursday storm. Over the weekend, we get really warm. And then here's the next sharp cold front ripping down over the Rockies, sliding right down low altitude, not able to get over the mountains initially. Eventually it's deep enough to cover the mountains and goes all the way down into Texas and northern Mexico. And lots of cold air over the state, a whole, whole nation. The cold front even get, making it down almost to Florida. Another shot comes down on the end of the week for the next weekend. So let's take a look at precipitation. Here's the Wednesday storm into Thursday. Clears out for the weekend. Very, very nice. And you can start to see the system come together up here in the Pacific Northwest for Sunday. Comes down into the Northern Rockies. There's a low traveling southeastward for Tuesday into Wednesday. I don't know how much it makes it on the Northeast Plains versus the mountains on that one. And then right here at the end of the animation, you can see this next system coming down for maybe Friday, Saturday of the weekend after this weekend. Over the next five... On the trip, please switch to channel three for pickup. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> maybe I should re-record this. Um, for the next five days, we have a quarter to half inch of or liquid precipitation. The snow is about two, three, four, five inches right along I-25. We have some areas eight inches or so around Boulder. That wasn't sensitive information, so I'll just keep rolling here. Got to keep moving. Uh, the next 10 days, we have a half inch to uh, inch and a half of liquid, and that equates to totals in the foot area right down to almost I-25. That's both storms combined. So yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be getting some moisture again. So we start out really cold, stay cold for Thursday, snow ends in the pre-dawn hours Thursday, warms up beautifully for the weekend, and then tremendously cold Monday and Tuesday with negative five. Really good chance of precipitation returning on Monday and Tuesday as well. So, whew, made it through pretty much. Uh, for more frequent weather updates and local news, check out the Longmont Leader and also BroomfieldLeader.com. This has been the weather forecast for Wednesday, February 16th. Keep looking up.